What's going on, y'all? It's a beautiful day today. Feeling like spring today. I think, uh, well, today's the 19th, so tomorrow will be officially the spring equinox, which is awesome. So, but I figured I'd do a quick little video on my break right now. And, uh, yeah, just talk to you guys about our new lives and how our lives have changed uh, due to this uh, particular virus that has... Uh, caused a global uh, awareness in regards to health and how important uh, health is and to be clean and stuff like that. So it's definitely been a uh, wake-up call for a lot of people. And one of the things I was looking at <clears throat> uh, the other day, uh, just looking into astrology, and that is uh, a, like a, a lot of people that uh, that I speak to um, kind of like regularly and have spoken to like in the past about just how, you know, eventually the universe is going to force humanity uh, to change. And that's what I feel is really truly happening is that uh, this has caused the whole world to slow down and be more aware and, and really just be in the present moment. I feel like that's very important. That's something I really been working on over the past few years is learning how to just stay in the present moment because the moment is all we have. And it's seeing this and seeing people's reaction, it just goes to show how, one, uh, we definitely need to pay attention more about life and, and be more of a life-worshipping society than a death-worshipping society that we've been for a very long time. Uh, but also, too, just learning just how to be in the moment. You know, we're, we're always like the world has constantly just been on the go for a very long time. And this is like slowing everyone down and really paying attention to what life is really about. You know, life is not about paying bills and doing all this ripping and running around and stuff like that. And, yeah, some of it's fun and, and, and that's OK. But at the same time, we do need to have. Uh, the time where we can just be at home and really like like this is a time for us to go really innerly and it's amazing how all this has happened after excuse me uh, Mercury retrograde <clears throat> which I find to be pretty interesting because uh, usually you have something I mean yeah it, it was going on during the time of Mer Mercury retrograde but it's like once as soon as Mercury went, went direct then uh, it became more of a uh, serious kind of like cautious matter uh, that we've we've all been um, uh, paying attention to it I mean and even with just uh, our uh, world leaders and stuff uh, they're even in a shock too as well I know a lot of people uh, think that um, you know it's a lot a lot of conspiracy theories going on and and I me mean, I try not to get caught up into conspiracy theories and I really pay attention to well what do, what does the stars what do the cosmos have to say about this and the cosmos uh has been saying that you know this is this is beyond uh, this is out of their hands basically this is beyond them you know this is something that uh was allowed to happen uh it was already uh written in the stars um the warnings have came out over the past couple of years since like 2018 about people uh, staying on top of their health and stuff. And there's been uh, a few astrologers out there that I've uh, paid attention to, uh, especially one in particular, particularly, her name is uh, Joni Patri. And uh, she really was hitting it on the nail when it, when it came to everyone being aware of their health. And I, I just remember last year she was speaking about it and she was talking about how uh, how, you know, going into the fall slash winter of 2019 that uh, people really needed to be on top of their health um, this particular season due to the fact of, uh, you know, something happening uh, due to, like, uh, health and stuff. And, and, you know, we never knew that it was going to be uh, this particular virus that has broken out. So, but definitely, everyone stay positive. Um, you know, th th this is definitely the... The new life, I mean, as you can see, it's like nobody <laughs> out here. Uh, usually, I mean, it's, it's like, it's 63, almost 65 degrees right now. Feels like springtime. I'm freaking, this is, a, this is my favorite part of the season because I'm a spring baby. So, 
next month uh, would be uh, my birthday and everything. So I'm I'm excited about the spring equinox. I, I love the springtime. This is my favorite part of the season. So, uh, but yeah, you know, if you guys are at home and and you know, don't don't just uh, be at home, just uh, um, you know, being in any kind of like uh, negative state. You know, get out in the sun. Like the sun is gorgeous today. Like especially you know being here in um, in Oregon because you know to a lot of people. Uh, they hear about Oregon, you know, it's like, oh, it's always raining and stuff. But this whole week, it has been no rain. It has been warming up every day, and it is gorgeous outside. So if you guys were able to go outside and, and get in get into nature, I advise, like, please do. You know, nature also helps uh, with building up your immune system as well. You know, get in tune with nature. So, But I just want to do a quick video. I know uh, I haven't done videos in a while and stuff, and I plan on doing some more videos um, later on this year maybe hopefully by next month i don't know see how i have my stuff set up <laughs> so anyway um you know stay stay positive um make sure you guys are getting uh, a lot of love from from your loved ones and, and and family members and and just you know let's just be in the moment you know we take this thing one day at a time you know that, that's my suggestion you know let's just take it one day at a time but uh this is something that we will overcome and as quick as it came, uh, quickly it's going to leave. So hope y'all having a blissful, blessed day. I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.